Today we are shooting this video to teach you guys how to set the Inventronics dimmable LED drivers. Before we start the work, we have to install a software on your computer. Please download uh, the PRG-MUL2 Multi Programmer software from Inventronics official website. We recommend you to use Windows 7 or above system because Windows XP system is a little more complex when installing the software. Okay, let's start the setting. What we need is a programmer. The model number is PRG-MUL2. And this, this, we need a, a connector, a connection cord as well. And the most importantly, a dimmable LED driver. Here we are using Inventronics EOG-200 series. The first step, we need to connect the programmer to the computer with the code. Secondly, connect the dimmable LED driver to the programmer. Please pay attention to the colors of the dimmable cores. The purple line needed to be connected to with the purple cord. Brown to brown and the black and uh, white to black and white. As we can see, Inventronics LED drivers most attractive advantage over meanwhile or other LED power supply products in market is that the output current or dimming signal can be adjusted or corrected only in one computer. I mean, it doesn't need to be connected to the LED lamps or LED fixtures when making the setting. Now we are explaining to you how to set the output current of Inventronics LED driver. Please see this model number is EUG-200S105DV. Remember this model number. Let's start. First, open the software. Choose the English language. Choose the right timing mode. Because EUG series is 0 to 10 words timing, so we choose the third option. Click Startup. Choose English language and select select the right series number as we said just now this model number is UG-200S105 DV so we need select the corresponding right model number when you finish this step Click Read Driver to check if the signal is correct. Okay, successful data re reading. Then the CCMAX current will turn out the default output current of the driver. UG 200 S105 dV 
the default output current is usually 700 MA. Now, for example, we need to adjust it to output 800 MA. We choose 0.84 amperes. Then, click the minimum adjusting option to reduce the output current. Now it's 0 0.809, about 800 MA. Click Add to Driver. Then the output current will be fixed to around 800 MA. Click Read Driver to check and confirm if the setting is successful or not. Successful data reading. Another example, if we needed to choose, uh, we needed to adjust the driver to 1000 MA output, we can choose either 1.05 or 0.945. We choose 1.05 amp. Click the reducing button. Then the output current will be around 1.008 amperes. Click right to driver. Okay, programming was successful. Click Read Driver to, to check and confirm. OK, successful data reading. It means the output of the driver now will be 1000 MA. Just like setting the output current, we open the software, select the language of English, and uh, the right AD driver model number. This one we are testing is EUG 200S 105DV. We can see this model has 0 to 10 words. 0 to 5 words PWM and the timer diving functions for choices. The first three choices are very easy to set. Just uh, click, click the right uh, mode, such as PWM, and then click right to driver. The setting is successfully made. Click Read Driver to check and confirm. Okay, now the driver is PWM dimmable. Now we are ex explaining the timer dummy function setting. Click timer. Click Adjust Curve. For example, now we want to set th three timer dimming ranges of a street lighting system, say 5 hours of 100% full lighting from 6 o'clock p.m. to 11 o'clock p.m., 3 hours of 50% of lighting from 11 o'clock p.m. to 2 o'clock a.m. the next day in the morning, and the last 4 hours of 20% of lighting, from 2 o'clock a.m. to 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning. We just set light level 1 to 100% of diamond, Holding time 
five hours, and the light level two to fifty percent of timing. Holding time three hours, and the light level three to twenty percent of timing. Holding time four hours. Please pay attention to the fading time between light level one and light level two, or light level two and light level three. The fading time means the time for the changing of the timing. It will be much more comfortable for people's eyesight when they see the change of. One hundred percent of lighting to half lighting. We usually set it as fifteen minutes, or you can choose other time, say five minutes or ten minutes. On the right corner, it turns. The curve of the timer timing result.